President Donald Trump just landed with a first lady and they went ahead and they've made their way out to Lake Charles. Now the plan for his visit is to be talking with the Louisiana delegation. We just got word that the suspect 34 year old Joey Julian has been arrested and we now know the name of the victim that was shot and killed earlier. It was right here where I watched the community come together and place candles, pictures and toys to honor and remember 10 year old Jalen Citizen. This is a crazy story how we got here. We're supposed to be at Cayuchi Street helping a woman, she told us that her home was flooded. We were trying to get there. We ended up going through Legion Street. We couldn't make it through Legion Street, actually, because it was flooded. This side of the home really got hit the hardest, but there's definitely a lot of tree branches that were hit, and they're on the ground. But the biggest thing, again, is this tree. Look how huge this thing is. Christian, as you can see, I'm here at Chuck Fest. Look at this nice frame. There's plenty of stuff going on today. Managers told me they've been preparing since Sunday, bringing in everything from shirts, hats, lanyards, and even flags. Along with side parking, this temporary bike lane was also added for residents. But how exactly did this idea come to life? There you go, Angie. That's your baby. You could feel the love in the room as family talked about the man in all black, Ernest Samuel Miller. You can't miss them three. Three Miller men. Three, Look, three Miller men. Yeah. But now there's only two Miller men because Ernest is no longer and with the them. The people that know him, they call him Papa. Papa's a real good friend and a good son. That was my everything right there. You know, I mean, I mean, now I'm like, I'm all alone. Wednesday afternoon at the age of 38, Ernest was shot multiple times in downtown Lake Charles. I got off from work and um, I seen the police cars out there and the homicide out there and I didn't know what's going on. When they found out what happened and to who, their hearts were broken. When they say Ernest Samuel Miller, I just threw everything. It left me in shock. I'm still in shock. But as the shock fades away, pain comes to replace that feeling. I didn't get a chance to give him a hug like I normally do. It's hard to explain, you know. I mean, I can't even explain it, you know. I, I can't. It, it's something hard. I never thought this would happen. And all the family, especially Sister Daria Miller, want is one thing. I want justice because he did not deserve to be gunned down. As the family works to make sense of what happened, they say forgiveness is not an option for the person who took Ernest out of their lives. If you had a chance to talk to him right now, you know, what would you want to say to him? Why? Why this had to happen? She just walked off, you know? Shouldn't have to be. After service, Miranda Whittington, KPLC 7 News. Tropical Storm Harvey brought lots of rain and flooding to southwest Louisiana, but the Purple Heart Recreation Center is opening their doors to those who've lost everything. This is my bed here. This is my pallet. Anissa Ward was more than excited to show us her bed. And underneath it is um, cardboard. Because this bed and the clothes on her back are all that Anissa has left. Once the water kept rising and rising, like we didn't really know how we was going to get out. But Anissa was able to get out. She walked through waist high water until a state truck saw her and took her to the Purple Heart Recreation Center. Thank you. But as Anissa sat on her bed, a home wasn't all she had lost. We're missing a couple people, but we're going to make it. And as she held back tears, she hopes those people know that I love them. <laughs> and they know me if they see me. But for a woman who's been through so much in her life, Anissa is choosing to remain positive and enjoy the simple things in life like a bed. I've learned through life you got to keep positive and keep high spirits because if you stay negative and down, it's not going to get you nowhere. The shirts are pressed. Digging through the trash. It had a camera in it. Looking for blankets. And in this stuff, the watch fell out. Roxanne Mata found them and a little bit more. Most importantly, I came across this. A Bible. And this is not what it looks like. It was worn out, but Roxanne knew it was something special. That got me. When feathers appear, angels are near. Those words and some determination led her here. You have to be Mr. Doug. Yeah, who are you? My name is Roxanne. Yeah. I am the one that found all of your stuff. Thank you, babe. 
Thank I you am very so much. glad to meet you. Well, I'm glad that you found it. 91-year-old World War II veteran Doug Birch left his southeast Texas home with only a few possessions. But when Doug had to be moved from a Lake Charles shelter to one in Alexandria, everything he brought with him, including that Bible, somehow didn't make it there. You're not going to recognize it, but that's your Bible. Your wife gave you. Yeah. Doug's late wife Louise gave him that Bible back in December of 1971, and after being separated from it in the storm, he never thought he'd see it again. She's back with you. She brought it. Roxanne also found Doug's rings and necklace that Louise gave him, which she had cleaned and repaired. There you go. Thank you so Your much. Louise is around your neck again. And while the two bonded over their military service, I retired from the Navy. Is that right? And their love for the song Amazing Grace. Was blind, but now I see. It's clear when feathers appear, angels are near. Thank you much. You're my friend forever. At your I service, Miranda so. Whittington, you KPLC are. 7 News.